Mr. Dave, what are the side effects of niacin? The biggest and most common one is flushing. I actually got a little flushing today from my own niacin drug. Back in the days when you just took regular niacin, and some people still do that. I tried it for a while, and I remember I felt like I was a scalping victim. Felt like my whole head was blowing off with just this intense fire, and I had to stop. I mean, I could not take it. That is the most common thing. Now, you'll see YouTube comments on this channel and other places where people say, oh, I love that flush. Well, if you love it and you can do it, that's great. So there's been a lot of focus on trying to decrease that flushing. One of them was a chemical called Lapropriant, L-A-P-O-P-R-I-A-N-T, Lapropriant. I'm blanking on the name of the drug company. There was a drug company, uh, they're based on 42nd Street in Manhattan, one of the well-known names. They had a Lapropriant niacin combination, and they did a world-class trial on it and expected to just, you know, do the victory lap with a whole bunch of new sales and it blew up. It didn't work at all. And what actually happened was it appears that the Lapropriant, when it decreases the, when it does away with the flush from niacin, also did away with whatever was helping decrease the cardiovascular risk. So that didn't work. So what did the medical community do? Well, in America, the response of the medical community was just to throw the baby out with the bathwater. They said, well, niacin doesn't work. No, it wasn't that niacin doesn't work. It was that niacin treated with and combined with lapropriant doesn't work. There are a couple of versions of niacin that we know does work. I've got financial arrangements with either one of these groups. One of them is rugby, R-U-G-B-Y. And the other one is Enduracin, E-N-D-U-R-A-C-I-N. We're trying to develop something with Enduracin because they have been the best tolerated product uh, where we can make it more easily available. You can get it right now on Amazon. The thing about Enduracin is they have wax matrix process. So you get a wax matrix within the pill and you've got the little pockets of niacin within it. So it slows that down. What happens reliably, you still get the niacin impact, but it slows down the release. And I'm like all the other patients that I've dealt with so far using it, except a few. A few will still get intolerable flushes, but the vast majority of them do like I do. You get sort of a little flush and tingle, not much of a bad one at all. It happens every month or two. It lasts about five minutes and then you never notice it again. So that's the big thing. You can also get some gastrointestinal problems with niacin. One of my family members had that problem, had to stop it. Robert Pinsky, does long-term use of niacin cause liver damage? There's a lot of focus on liver damage, and there it has been reported. Yes, you can see it. And yes, it's more associated with niacin where other chemicals have been added. Bottom line, at the end of the day, it's sort of like statins. It's sort of like aspirin when indicated. It's sort of like driving a car, sort of like flying in an airplane. You pay your money, you take your risks. If you don't have any cardiovascular risk, I don't recommend taking niacin because there are some problems associated with it. But if you have significant LP little a, I clearly would recommend it. A lot of folks that have low HDL, obviously we want to focus on the carbs in the diet, but niacin is the only thing that's been shown, the only supplement, or there's been no medication that increases HDL. But again, niacin increases it. There's nothing that has such an impact on our cholesterol panel like as a supplement like niacin. So we use it a lot. I personally use it. Do drawings for the webinar event, the courses. We've got a book coming out in, a, in about a month. Uh, we'll be offering that. Even full-blown evaluations providing those uh, for free for folks that, again, help us grow the community. So if you'd like to find out what the most recent rules are for the most recent drawing, just come to the membership page.